Morris to base. Base here. Go ahead, Jim. Be advised, investigating a 1014 with Sheriff Trumbull, residence 518 South Washington. Over. That's all about the intruder? Affirmative. Subject is Dr. Hallie Brooks. Over. 104. Any suspects? No, but Sheriff Trumbull wants you to let us know if anyone uh, suspicious gets picked up tonight. Then 4 will advise all units. Is the good doctor all right? She's a little shook up, but you know how these sanitarium folk like to take their work home with them. <laughs> right. Base clear. Morris. Over and out. Now, take it easy, Miss Brooks. Uh, nothing was taken. The intruder just left this card. Right. Well, no, I don't know if anything was taken or not. Uh, no, uh, no jewelry or, um... Undergarments uh, gone? Well, well uh, not that I know of. Do you know how we got in? As far as I can tell, the intruder came in through an unlocked basement window and then proceeded upstairs to leave this car. Speaking of which, uh, when did the flowers arrive on your desk? They arrived last Tuesday morning. They weren't there when I left Monday around 5. So they could have been put there any time between 5 p.m. Monday... And uh, nine on Tuesday morning. Right. Well, miss, the intruder didn't take nothing. Uh, he didn't mess the place up any. So he may not have thought you'd mind this. Still, I don't want to jump to no conclusion, so I'll have Deputy Morris here. Ma'am? Keep a, a close eye on your place. If he sees anybody trying to get in, we'll catch him. I recommend you be a bit more careful about... Locking up in the future. Thanks, Sheriff. You're welcome, miss. Now, i got to run along. You just try to put all this behind you. I'm sure it's nothing to be worried about. Good night, Miss Brooks. Good night, Sheriff. Oh, Sheriff? Yeah? Well, you know this town pretty well. I was just wondering if, if maybe you can think of, of anyone who might be doing this. Uh, miss Brooks, I am... Uh, uh, Deputy, could you wait for me in the car? Sure, Pete. This is a quiet town, Dr. Brooks. But if there's any noise, you and I both know where it comes from, don't we? What, are you saying that someone from the sanitarium is I behind this? I don't have enough evidence to say anything tonight, Miss Brooks, but uh, the best thing you could probably do for yourself is make sure your colleagues know you didn't appreciate this little prank. Good night, Miss Brooks. Good night, Sheriff. some areas of the human mind and indeed of the world we live in that were never meant for investigation. There are always those who delve into the darker worlds of knowledge and many pay with their sanity for their interests. Some of these unfortunates are taken in by the Hayward Foundation, an organization that studies paranormal experiences and their effects on humanity. It is cases such as these that are sent to a restored mansion in a small coastal town in Maine, a center for the care and study of the insane. Since the 1920s, this place has been known as the Hayward Sanitarium. Keep her voice down. The whole reason I came in is to find out who doped me up at that party. 
that we have to let on what we think nothing happened if we're going to learn anything. Well, we should have, but a doctor reached out. Doctors! Way. Doctors! You're not supposed to be here! We have clearance for these wards, apparently. Our, our passes are right. No, no, this corridor was ordered clear. They're transferring a violent patient. You have to leave immediately. All right, this way. I'll be there in just a minute, Mr. O'Brien. Try and be. Oh, no, oh, really? Come on, step back. What are they doing here? I ordered this area clear. I want her. They're here! Don't know. You've got to help me, Doc. You've got to get me out of here. I'm down, Mr. O'Brien. Mm. God, what has it done to me? Let me go. I'll kill you in the sky. Go help me, God. Out of this race is good. We need some help down here. Let you do. No. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I need to have to do something I regret. Think it through, Dermot. You're not helping yourself here. Oh, crash. Do you think that's going to work? Hold right there, Brian. I'm right here. You come and get me. No, Dermot. Oh, 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 oh,
I see, Dr. Chandler. His accusations are very distressing. Yes, well, I realize it's hard to believe, but when I saw the results of the blood work that Dr. McLeod sent me, I felt it was best to inform you right away. And this certainly does help explain the events of this morning. Mm. Uh, what is it, Agnes? Dr. Atwater's here, sir. Good. Send him in. Good afternoon, Dr. Uh, Dr. Chandler. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. I want to express my displeasure about the O'Brien incident this morning. Dr. Hoffman, I do not condone the use of tranquilizer guns at all. No. They are completely dehumanizing. Calm down, Richard. Calm down. Now, please, sit down. I'd rather stand, thank you. Uh, I agree that the method used to subdue Mr. O'Brien was drastic, but the circumstances were quite extreme. <laughs> Both Dr. Chandler and Chief Orderly Robert Elliott have assured me that it was a last resort. However, I am afraid that there is another matter we must discuss. More important than the unethical treatment of our patients? Yes, 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 complete the hold yes, 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 yourselves. I demand you behave in a professional manner. <sighs> now then, Richard. Dr. Chandler has brought some serious charges against you. Charges? And I would like to address them immediately. What are you talking about? It is apparent that while Dermot O'Brien was under your care, he was given large doses of several types of mood-altering and psychoactive drugs that were not only unnecessary, but illegal in almost all instances. You think I was drugging Dermot? Oh, yes, yes, I would never yes. do that. The evidence is right here, Dr. Oh, Atwater. Uh, the results of this blood analysis clearly show how you feel about the proper treatment of your patients. That would be quite, quite enough, right, George. That would be quite enough. Now, may I infer from your tone, Dr. Atwater, that you plead innocence of this Of matter? course. I would never do such a thing. Yet... It has happened. And while the patient was in your charge, I regret this, my boy, but I have no choice but to relieve you of your casework pending an investigation. I'm suspended? If you wish to use such a term. Oh. Richard, if you are not at fault, then you should return to duty in no time at all. But I must ask you, however, to surrender all of your patient's records for now. My records? Of course. They're in my office. Just give your keys to the guard. I promise to give this matter my utmost attention. I see. Will that be all? We'll be in touch, Doctor. Fine. More flowers. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Security desk, Charles speaking. This is Dr. Brooks. Did you see anyone come in with a bouquet of flowers this morning? No, ma'am. Were you expecting some? Yes, unfortunately. Listen, Charles. I'm being plagued by a secret admirer. I keep finding these flowers from him when I come into my office, which is supposed to be locked. So if you see anyone coming with flowers or anything, will you please call and tell me? Of course, Doctor. Thank you. I don't believe this. They don't even smell good. Let's see. Junk mail. Junk. Junk. Hey, Honolulu. Janet. Dear Hallie, how are you? I haven't heard from you since we worked together, together in London. London. Hawaii is beautiful, of course, and the Foundation Centre here is in a really nice spot near Hilo. I met a friend of yours the other day, John Archman. He was on his way to Japan to visit his uncle. The poor man could barely talk. Why did he get that horrible scar on his neck? Looks like someone cut his throat. Anyway, he told me to say hello and to pass on some information I have about the Fraternitas Trinacria. He seemed very disturbed by it all, but he said you would be interested. Something about a research project you worked on together in Canada. You really should keep me better informed on these things. Anyway, 
the Fraternitas Trinacria, or Brotherhood of the Triskeel. Supposedly, they were founded by a man named Alexander Awas in London in 1624, after he discovered an ancient manuscript in India the year before. His goal was to discover the secrets of nature through ritual and meditation, and the group attracted some of the greatest minds of the time. They vanished without a trace, though, four years after its founding, due to a mysterious scandal. A group with the same name surfaced in America in 1831, but they appeared to be nothing more than a men's club. There were rumours of an inner circle, however, who had access to mysterious secrets. This inner circle supposedly included such famous figures as Alastair Crowley and H.P. Lovecraft. The Fraternitas disappeared again in 1945, and there has been no evidence of its return. I hope this helps you with your research. I have to go and do some real work now. Don't be such a stranger. Try and remember how to use a telephone. Okay. Hello, Janet. P.S. If you want to know more, you need to talk to a man named John Atkins at the Cloverleaf Retirement Home in Pasadena, California. Huh. Well, that's strange. George must not have known the complete history. Yes, I think I've had enough for today. Good night. Good night, sir. Oh, drive safely. Uh, there's a bit of weather coming our way. Start. What, are you, what are you doing poking around here in the dark? Uh, my apologies, Smith. The days are getting short this time of year, and there's still the same work it needs doing. Uh, I suspect the cold will get these gophers before I do. <laughs> it is chilly, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Well, you'd best be getting on, Doctor. If that rain comes down, that stretch of road by Widder's Point will be awful slick. Yeah, true enough. Yeah. Good night, Chester. Good night, Doctor. <sighs> flat. <laughs> when did that tree fall over? I almost didn't see it on the road. Whew. <laughs> A few more feet I'd gone off the edge of the cliff. Oh, 
great. No place to put the jack. Huh? Damn, I keep hearing things. I scare myself to death. I must be going crazy. Talk. Talking to myself. Is, is someone out there? <laughs> Who, who's there? Now, stop throwing those rocks. Who, who's there? Oh, stop it. Now, who is it? Oh, stop. Oh, now, stop. George. George. Who are you, anyway? Oh, oh. You've been Why are you doing this? George. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 damn, my leg, damn, my leg. Welcome to Widow's Point, Georgie. Do my job, Who? George. Well, why, why are Cleaning you... Cleaning up after slime. Robert, is, he, is, is that you? What, what the hell do you think you're doing here? Oh, I see the way you look at her. I see you talking with her. Your eyes all following her around. Well, she's too good for you. What are you talking about? Oh. You know, dinner dates and rides home. You're always so charming and wonderful. Well, I clean up the slime. Oh, my God. Hallie, Robert, we're just friends. Look, you, you, you've got to believe me. Friend, best friend. I know what you want from her. Your slimy hands always now, touching her. You, you, you won't wonder by treating me this way. Now, get a hold of yourself, Robert. I'm, I'm old enough to be your father, for God's sake. You, you think she'll love you for this? Shut up. I see you with her. I know. I know you, Doctor. Well, I have to protect well, her from you. Don't, I don't be ridiculous, Robert. Now, don't, don't do anything rash, Robert. Anything you might regret. Regret? Oh, you're sloppy, Doctor. You can't threaten me. I've got friends in high places. You won't get away with this. No. Get away with what? It's a shame the great doctors at the Hayward Sanitarium aren't better drivers. What? Poor Dr. Bailey. Poor what? Dr. Chandler. He lost control of his car oh. and drove right off a cliff. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hope the staff doesn't have to oh. pay higher insurance premiums. You're, 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 you're mad. <laughs> Hallie and I are just friends, Robert. And you'll oh. never be oh anything God. more. Oh, don't, don't. I'll have her all to myself now. I'll never have to worry about you again. They suspended you, Richard. Yeah, but it confirms my theory, though, Justin. You know, I've been thinking about that party all day, mm -hmm. and I'm reasonably sure it was George Chandler who was the one who poured that cup of coffee for I, me. I think you're right, Richard. He spiked your java and then pinned the blame on you about O'Brien's brain salad, too. Yeah, it's pretty slick. Yeah, but something about what Dermot said has got me wondering. I think there may be more here than just George Chandler. I can't put my finger on it, though. Oh, all right, but, but we've got Chandler. Now, how are we going to prove it? I don't know. My suspension conveniently removes me from any threatening position. Yeah. And since you don't have enough access as a visiting research fellow, we're... Right, right, but we need someone on the inside. Someone we can trust. Yes. 
Who could that be at this time? Pally? Pally! I'm sorry to come over so late, Richard, but I get some bad news. Come on in, Al. Yeah, please, come on in. Let me take it here. Um, well, they found George's car at the bottom of Widow's Point a couple of hours ago. George? And the, is he dead? Oh, well, they're still looking for the body, but the car exploded when it hit the rock. Here, Pally, come here, have a seat. Uh, thanks. Oh, God. Uh, um, would you like a cup of coffee or something? Uh, oh, um... Yeah, yeah, I guess so. That'd be good. Okay. Right. Uh, Justin, could you help me in the kitchen for a minute? Sure. Oh, God. Maybe it's time we talk to Hallie about what's been going on. She's been at the sanitarium long oh, enough. Richard, are you sure we can trust her? I need to trust someone, Justin. Besides, after what happened at Cape Tormentine, she might just believe me. Well, all right, Richard. I'll get the copies of the files, but... I think now might not be the best time to tell her everything. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. Give me the coffee. Here. Here you go, Hattie. No cream and two sugars. Thanks, Justin. God, what a day, Richard. Dermot O'Brien breaking out. My secret admirer. And now this? I don't know how much more of this I can take. have been committed to Hayward Sanitarium. Written by Matthew Bocco and David Johnson. Directed and produced by Tony Brewer. Sound design by John Weber. Engineering and Foley team led by John Weber and Richard Fish, including Doug Black, Shannon Williams, Martin Brueggemann, and Tony Brewer. Featuring Mike Kelleher, Mike Sherman, Alexandra Aufterheide, Richard Fish, Tom Hollicky, Karen Atkins, Russ Levitt, Andrew Peloso, Daniel Geddeld, Nate Sanders, Tony Brewer, Joel Marsh, John Weber, Jake Schumacher, Nels Berner, Denise Travers, Jim Fields, and Chrissy Whitehead. Studio facilities provided by Lodestone Productions. Copyright 1994. Hayward Sanitarium is made possible by grants from Lodestone Productions and the generosity of its cast and crew. Hayward Sanitarium is a last minute. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.